Hi, welcome to the Clown County Fair. My name is George Carlson. I'm a member of the Board of Directors of the County Fair. I've been for seven years. Uh, my main job at the fair is to uh, make sure everything on stage here goes well, that the performers get on and off in time, and uh, everybody has a great time watching them. We have a simple stage here. It's just one mic and uh, two speakers and two monitors, and a few lights for the evening show. Um, it's sponsored by Sunny Farms of Squim. They've been nice enough to make sure that we have all the equipment we need, and uh, they pay for it accordingly. put in about eight to ten hours a day here on, uh, from Thursday through Sunday. Sunday is probably a ten-hour day because uh, everybody has to be out of here by eight o'clock. So uh, lots of folks here, lots of fun things to do. I like to go around and uh, carouse the food booths and uh, see what exotic foods they have. I like to watch the kids on the rides. That's always a blast watching the carnival. And we have a motocross show, and that really scared the heck out of me, but these kids love it. And the rodeo, a lot of horses and uh, kicking and dust and stuff. I don't understand that because I'm from Brooklyn, but uh, people out here certainly seem to enjoy it. Oh, today I think I'll have lunch at the, uh, across the way from the stage here, at the Fairboard Country Grub Place. They have all home-cooked food at a reasonable price, and I think today they're going to have spaghetti and meatballs and garlic bread and all the good stuff that goes with it. When I meet somebody new who's never been to the fair, they want to know, number one, where is it? It's in Port Angeles on the uh, west end of town. And what's in here? Just about anything you'd ever want to see in a real good hometown county fair. We have animals, we have entertainment, we have rides, and by the way, your entry fee gets you into everything. There's nothing extra to pay for once you get inside, and it's very reasonable. For adults, it's only $7.50. That gives you 12 hours of constant entertainment. The food, of course, you've got to pay for. The rides, you'll have to pay for. But everything else is free, reasonable. And one more thing, we have lots and lots of restrooms here. Uh, parking is free. We don't charge anything for parking. Uh, it's right across the road from the fair, so you don't have an awful long to walk. And by the way, for those who are disabled, we do have wheelchairs that we provide for those folks, as well as strollers for the little folks. So come on down to the fair. We're open Thursday through Sunday from 10 in the morning to 10 at night. You can't beat it. The weather's going to be perfect. We put in for it, and it was delivered. Sunshine, lollipops, cotton candy, hot dogs, entertainment, horses, dogs, pigs, you name it, we got it all. Free parking, and uh, you'll never have a better time in your life than at the Clallam County Fair. My background and my requirements for running this stage is uh, very minimal. However, I did work for NBC Television for 27 years. Did The Tonight Show, did Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. In fact, this, this is my chair from Rowan and Martin right here. Uh, just about every show that went through NBC in the last 15 years I was there, which ended in 1993, I was a part of because I was the department head for staging operations. Uh, I've been up here living in Squim since 1996, having a great time, really enjoying the climate and getting away from the crowds in Los Angeles. Uh, one day I, somebody said, well, why don't you write down all your experiences? Well, I started to one day, but you know what? I got busy with the sheriff's department, the county fair, the coast guard. But when I really got started, I was 16 years old. I was in the Boy Scouts in New York, New York City, and we were invited to go down to a little television studio at the basement of Wanabanker's department store, and it was called Dumont. Well, Dumont Television was the only television station in New York City at that time. It was black and white, and the cameras were probably half as big as this stage. So that's really where I got my start in television, 1949, 16 years old. I asked them if they had a job for me, and they said, sure, kid, get, grab a broom. So that's where I started, sweeping the floor and getting coffee. Did I get paid? Oh, yeah, real good. All day Saturday, they gave me 25 cents. It's changed a little bit since then. Uh, now I'm up to 50 cents. No, I'm just kidding. Now, uh, now that the wages are real good for the, for the stage folks in Los Angeles. The average stage hand there makes about 75000 a year now. Unfortunately, there's not an awful lot of work left anymore because so much of it has left Hollywood and gone elsewhere, even to other countries. Canada's real busy with it. But I've seen the, uh, the highlights and, and the lowlights of television come and go, and I'm glad I was there to see it all because... Uh, 
in the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s, boy, we just couldn't couldn't get a day off. It was like working seven days a week, 14, 16 hours a day. We'd get the Dean Martin show off and the Laugh-In show would load in. Next door would be Jerry Lewis. Across the hall would be the Hallmark Hall of Fame. So it was all there, and I'm glad I was part of it. And now it's nice just to sit back and do what I want to do when I want to do it if my wife lets me. Oh, in my spare time, I'm supposed to be retired, but on EMT with the uh, with the District 3 Fire Department, which is uh, SQUIM and and the uh, most of the county up to Deer Park Road, uh, that's a volunteer job. I've been with the Coast Guard Auxiliary for 29 years now. I patrol with them twice a month out in the Straits of Juan de Fuca. I'm a special deputy with the Sheriff's Department. And every once in a while I'm home and say hello to my wife Betty and my dog Yogi. I was asked what would I change in my life that happened 50 years ago. And you know what? I don't think I'd change a thing. I, uh, I had a good time all the way through it. I treated people the way I wanted to be treated, and uh, they treated me as well. So I don't have a thing I'd like to change, especially what happened 50 years ago, because that's when I married my wife, Betty. And if she finds out I wanted to change that, I'd really be in big trouble. What do I want to leave behind if I ever leave this earth? I want to leave people knowing that I put a smile on somebody's face at least once a day. That's it. If people can smile when they think of me, then my life will have been worthwhile. Sounds like an obituary. Oh, what I like on my tombstone would be, I put a smile on their faces. That's close enough. So come on down to the fair. We're open Thursday through Sunday from 10 in the morning to 10 at night. You'll never have a better time in your life than at the Clallam County Fair. When the moon hits your eye, it's a hot pizza pie. It's from Gordy's. Gordy's! Step right up, don't be shy. Get yourself a pizza pie. It's from Gordy's. Gordy's!